you've been keeping tabs with the crypto space for the past year, you'd notice that projects have been picking up the pace when it comes to airdrops. After a relatively quiet time after the Arbitrum airdrop last March, Aptos, Blur, Celestia, Memeland, Jitto, Pyth, Manta, Jupiter, Dimension, and Altlayer are among the higher profile projects to airdrop tokens to their community in just the last few months. Fret not, as it's looking like there is more to come in 2024. Starting with number 10 on the list is Ambient, an AMM DEX on Ethereum, Scroll, and Kanto that hosts all its markets on a single smart contract, resulting in lower gas fees on transactions. As Ambient tweeted back in December 2023, if Ambient were to perform an airdrop, the likely criteria would be for users to become liquidity providers for liquidity pools on Ambient. Besides that, users can also perform swaps, set limit orders, as well as getting a chance to qualify for a potential scroll airdrop by performing tasks while on ambient through the scroll network. Which brings us to our next potential airdrop, scroll. Scroll is a layer two built to scale Ethereum by using ZK rollup technology. It also implements layer two mining that separates transaction batching and mining to protect users against negative MEV. While the team has not confirmed the release of a token, it's likely the team will eventually release a token for protocol governance as seen with other layer twos such as optimism and arbitrum to be eligible for this potential airdrop users will likely need to first bridge tokens to scroll using the official bridge after that explore scrolls ecosystem by interacting with dApps on scroll one of which is ambient as mentioned earlier moving on to number eight it's zk sync another zk rollup with a highly anticipated airdrop zk sync has long confirmed the launch of a token in their documentation, so an airdrop is likely a matter of when and not if. Like other layer 1 or layer 2 airdrop strategies, eligible recipients will likely need to bridge to ZK Sync and interact with the various dApps on the chain. On to number 7 on the list, it's Eigenlayer, a protocol which enables users to restake their ETH to secure other applications and earn additional rewards. Although there's no official word on an eigenlayer token yet, eigenlayer is running a restaked points campaign, which suggests a future token for early and active users. To qualify for a potential eigenlayer airdrop, users can interact with eigenlayer by staking RETH or STETH on eigenlayer's testnet or on the mainnet when there is an opportunity to do so. Since restaking directly with eigenlayer is often unavailable due to their deposit caps, this brings us to the next airdrop on the list to watch for, Renzo Protocol, a liquid restaking hub built on Eigenlayer. Renzo enables users to restake ETH without worrying about Eigenlayer's liquid restaking caps while handling restaking strategies for its users. While there is no word on an airdrop, Renzo has similarly implemented a point system where users can earn easy points as well as Eigenlayer's restaked points by restaking their ETH to mint easy ETH. Besides that, users that hold easy ETH in their wallets will receive one easy point every hour as well as earning additional points for referring other users to participate in Renzo. Similarly, Kelp DAO is also a restaking platform built on Eigenlayer, which enables users to restake their ETH without having to wait for Eigenlayer to raise deposit caps while earning Eigenlayer restaked points. It is also running its own campaign, which allows users who interact with the dApp to collect kelp miles, which is likely to be an eligibility criteria for any future airdrop. Up next, we have Layer Zero, an omni-chain messaging protocol which enables interoperability between different blockchains. We've previously made a video on Layer Zero and its long-awaited potential airdrop, so we'll be brief about it here. Layer Zero's team recently confirmed that they will release a token sometime in the first half of 2024, though has not mentioned the specific criteria to qualify for an airdrop or that the snapshot date has already passed. So you can still try 
try your hand at qualifying for it by interacting with projects on layer zero. Next on our list is Rabi, a multi-chain wallet by DBank that supports 129 networks. Aside from its vast support of different blockchains, Rabi claims to deliver a smooth multi-chain experience by auto-switching between different networks, as well as a suite of security features for users that interact with smart contracts. Although a Rabi airdrop is only a speculation at this point, Rabi recently launched Rabi points to spur users to switch over to Rabi. Initial Rabi points are given to every EVM wallet based on the wallet balance at a snapshot date. Users can earn extra points by using the wallet's swap feature, gas top up feature, and referring others to use Rabi wallet. It also seems like Rabi is taking on MetaMask head on, as up to 12,000 Rabi points are up for grabs to users that have used MetaMask swap in the last year. To claim these points, they simply have to import their MetaMask wallet into Rabi. While it isn't clear what users can do with their Rabi points, Rabi stated that there are plans to further build on the program and that a rewarding future awaits its users. It's also worth mentioning that MetaMask has confirmed their intentions in launching a token. As the competition in the wallet space develops, it seems MetaMask is increasingly pressured to perform an airdrop. To prepare for this, we have made a video covering everything you need to know about a potential MetaMask airdrop. Furthermore, there are also rumors about the company behind Rabi, DBank, to perform an airdrop for users using its DeFi portfolio tracker and Web3 social feed. Check out our video to find out more about a potential DBank airdrop. Finally, for a couple of airdrop opportunities in the Solana ecosystem, we have MarginFi, a decentralized lending protocol on Solana. Margin MarginFi enables users to lend their crypto to earn yield or take out over collateralized loans. The dApp also offers a token bridge and swap. Although MarginFi has not confirmed an airdrop, the protocol launched MRGN points to reward its users for interacting with its dApp. Both lenders and borrowers can earn daily points for the length of their deposits and loans. There's also a referral program where users can earn 10% of the points earned by the referral. Free. Similarly, another DeFi protocol on Solana started implementing a point system for rewarding its users, Camino, which you can also experiment with and perhaps become eligible for an airdrop. It's also worth mentioning a number of other projects mentioned in our previous video, which haven't completed their potential airdrop yet, such as Shardium, Quai Network, and more. As a bonus, another opportunity that you could be looking out for is on the Cosmos ecosystem. Cosmos is is a blockchain network architecture that hosts a network of numerous independent blockchains. Some notable blockchains built on Cosmos include Injective, Osmosis, and Celestia. Cosmos has long been known for the numerous airdrops it rewards stakers of its native token Atom or other ecosystem tokens, though due to the attention from higher profile Cosmos-based projects such as Say, Celestia, Injective, and more, this may warrant it more attention in 2024. To provide an airdrop guide for the Cosmos ecosystem would require a whole other video on its own though, so subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out. Also, remember to catch our other airdrop videos where we give more detailed guides on how you could potentially be eligible for them.